morning, Dos Pueblos. It's Colleen Murphy. And it's Dallas Flannery. And Dos Pueblos Newscast is starting right now. 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 Your books are being sold Tuesday for anyone who didn't purchase it yesterday. You can buy it after school in the EPAC for 90 bucks. Some things featured in the yearbook are the variety of clubs, highlights of sports teams, dances, and so much more. The yearbook committee has worked super hard and did a great job, so everyone who put their time and effort into this, good job. Hey DP, I also want to thank the 85 applicants who tried out for the leadership class for 2014-2015. You all did a phenomenal job and choosing the class was very difficult and we want to know that we are very proud of your efforts and interest in being involved. Um, everybody, and so please, Take this time, if you're not going to be selected to the class, please stay involved in all the things that are going on. We will be handing out personal letters at the end of the school day today out of P2. So please come and see me for your letter if you tried out for the leadership class. You can pick them up after fifth period if you don't have a sixth period class. Otherwise, please come after sixth period at the end of the day. We will be officially announcing the class of 2014-2015 leadership on Tuesday on DP News. Thank you guys and have a great three day weekend. Today, Honor Society forums are due to Mrs. Stone's office by 3 p.m. if you were running for a position on the committee. Seniors, it's getting down to the wire and that means graduation is two weeks from yesterday and you need a cap and gown for that. So if you have not purchased that, go to Miss Rehage's office, the activities office, and buy your cap, gown, and tassel for 35 bucks. If you, have, if you bought it and you haven't picked it up yet, go pick it up too. And here's Scotty G with some important information. Scotty G. Good morning, DP. This is Scott Guttentag, head counsel, reporting to you from DP News. Today in your third period classes, you are going to be receiving, as I speak, a copy of your course verification form. The course verification form is really important. What we need you to do is we need to make sure that you put We need you to look over the classes that we have you signed up for to make sure that these are the correct classes that you are signed up for the 2014-2015 school year. Please look them over. There is a code on the back, so if you're unsure of exactly what a course means, the code is on the back. And if you have any questions about a course that you are signed up for, please make notes on this form immediately. Please also take note on whether or not the form says that you are taking a zero period or if you're willing to take a zero period. That's very important in the master scheduling process that we know who is willing to take a zero period class. We also need to make sure that you look at and review the potential classes that are available or are not available. You may notice that a class that you wanted is no longer available. For instance, we will not be offering landscaping and permaculture, so you were placing your second offer. We also kind of needed to do something with IB psychology where it's now only available currently to seniors, and so therefore you were placed in a second choice. So please review all of that information. If you have any concerns about what's on this form, please make a note of it so that your counselor knows what your concern is. If we made a mistake on the form, such as we put you in French and you should be in Latin, please make sure you note that immediately on the form. Also look to see whether or not the form says that you need to see your counselor or to take summer school. If the form says that you need to see your counselor, your counselor is wanting to talk to you about your schedule. If the form says that you need to take summer school, it's because you either indicated that you're planning on taking a summer school class at City College or because your counselor needs to let you know that you are signed up for, for summer school because you may have failed the course. So please see your counselor about that if you haven't already done so. Again, it's really important that you review this form right now as we speak. Leadership students will be coming by in the next 10 to 15 minutes to collect this form from all the classes to go over and review. A final copy of this will be mailed home next week so that your parents can also see the classes that you signed up for once we have made any of the changes or fixed any of the problems on your form. Again, please make sure you put your counselor's name on the upper right-hand corner so that your counselor can be looking at this. Please feel free to write any comments, concerns, or questions on the form so that your counselor knows what your concerns are. Please take the time to look on the back to make sure that you understand the key so that you understand the classes. For instance, there's a class called Health CH and we've designated that as the health zero period class. So that's why that says that. So please take note of all of those items. Again, this is course verification for the 2014-2015 school year 
all 9th, 10th, and 11th graders should be receiving this form as I am speaking. And please, teachers, be prepared to collect all the forms immediately. No forms should be going home. All forms should be collected by the leadership students that come by. If no one comes by by the end of the period, please send the forms to the counseling office. Thank you guys and have a great three day weekend. Thanks, Scott. So, Chargers, as our year comes to an end, so do our school activities. Aww. Today is the last class comp of the school year. Remember when we played this? Hey, DP. I'm here to talk about something really serious today. Leadership abuse. Every year, we have activities that abuse leadership students and embarrass them in front of the whole school. Well, I'm here to put it to a stop. This is not okay. I don't... Come to the Greek today, bombs away, throw water balloons at leadership. <laughs> that was really funny. That was, that was... Well, we're playing that again, but it's gonna be even better. You know why? Because now we have teacher targets. That's right, come throw water balloons at your favorite DP teachers in the Greek at lunch. Be there. Well, Chargers, that's all the news we have for you today. I'm Colleen Murphy. And I'm Dallas Flannery.